equations of motion for rigid body systems, equation of motion for a particle. Suppose we have a particle in a plane. The vectorial form of the equations is as follows. The same equations of motion can be expressed in the variational form as follows. It is important to know in the variational form that we need the additional arbitrariness condition of delta Q. Then two equations of motion becomes equivalent. Equation of motion for a rigid body. For a rigid body, the additional equation of motion for the rotation is added as follows. The equation of motion in the vectorial and variational forms are as follows. It is important to note that two forms of equations of motion become same when the arbitrariness condition of delta x, delta y, delta theta are satisfied. Generalized force for a force entity. Generalized force denotes a force term that must be added to the equations of motion due to a force entity. Concept of the virtual work can be used to calculate the generalized force. Suppose a force P is applied at a non-centroidal point P as shown in this figure. The generalized force QP must be calculated and added to the equations of motion as follows. The virtual work done by force P is obtained by that product of the virtual displacement of the application point P and the applied force vector. The vector of the application point P can be obtained in terms of the generalized coordinates as follows. Taking variation of the position vector of point P gives this equation. Substituting the variation of the position vector into the virtual work gives the following generalized force due to the applied force P at point P. Equation of motion with constraint. Suppose a particle moving along a circle. The equations of motion for the particle can be written in the variational form as follows. The variational form of the constraint must be appended as follows. Equation of motion by eliminating dependent generalized coordinate. Equations of motion with constraint can be handled by two methods. One is to eliminate dependent generalized coordinates and express the equations of motion only by the independent generalized coordinate. As an example, x is selected as the dependent generalized coordinate in this example. All variables associated with x are eliminated in the equations of motion. The final equations of motion is expressed only in terms of y, which is independent generalized coordinate. Equation of motion by Lagrangian multiplier method. Another method is to use Lagrangian multiplier theorem. Equations of motion and constraint can be combined by introducing Lagrangian multiplier as one augmented equations of motion. The virtual displacement becomes arbitrary after combining equations of motion and constraint, since the kinematic constraint is satisfied by the virtual displacement. Finally, augmented equations of motion and the acceleration level constraint can be written in a matrix form as follows. Equations of motion for rigid bodies. Equations of motion for a single rigid body is given as in this equation in the variational form. It must be emphasized that variation of the generalized coordinate must be satisfied the kinematic constraints. Applying the equations of motion for one body to many bodies gives the following equations of motion for whole system. Using Lagrange multiplier method in the previous page, the following augmented equations of motion with constraints becomes as in this equation. Let's take one example in this figure. The system consists of two bodies. The first body is connected to the ground by one spring and one translational joint. 
The first and second bodies are connected by a revolute joint. The generalized coordinates and constraint can be formulated by the proposed method presented earlier. The generalized force for the spring can be obtained easily by the virtual work theorem, as in this equation. Finally, the augmented equations of motion becomes like in this equation in a matrix form. <laughs>